Members of the military took over Camp Commanders today in Ashburn. It was Military Appreciation Day, and the commanders rolled out the red carpet to recognize the men and women who serve our nation. Simone was there for all of it. She's with us once again live from Ashburn. So Simone, training camp sort of morphed into boot camp today. Talk to us about that. <laughs> You said it, Adam. It was really cool to see. Again, members of our military from all across the DMV, you know, who call this place home, came out specifically to have their moment. And it was really cool because we got to see if they could have what it takes to play like a commander's player. We really put them through their paces, and I think you're going to be impressed. Check it out. Ready, go. From the 40-yard dash to the broad jump Five, to the three-cone shuffle. There we go. Touch. Good. Around. And the quarterback arm challenge. Inside the commander's practice bubble in Ashburn, our local military has taken over. Definitely make me feel my age. <laughs> a lot of younger guys, we have been having a good time. Um, strength training and team building. And then when we first started, they said just focus on team. Getting the chance to train like commanders in a mock combine. Just to see like some of your numbers and how they compare to guys you watch on TV, it's pretty crazy. We know that the NFL, they're professional athletes. But many people don't know that we treat our military personnel the same way. We treat them just like athletes. That's in medical care, that's feeding them, that's training them. So this right here is absolutely right up their speed. It's all part of Military Appreciation Day, USAA's Salute to Service NFL Boot Camp, hosting 100 military members based in the DMV. Sean Marable has spent 22 years with the Coast Guard. He came out today to have some fun and enjoy the feeling of camaraderie. Everybody has different skill sets and uh, talents from a diverse background, so you kind of appreciate everyone for what they bring to the table. And so it's kind of like I, I get enjoyment from helping building others up, so that's what I'm out here to do today. And he says it's days like today that put in perspective just how hard the players work. You don't think about how much they actually have to do and all the preparation and planning and training because on TV they make it look good on Sundays. It's just easy. Oh, you're just going out there catching footballs. But no, having to do all this behind the scenes, yeah, you do appreciate it. And that feeling of appreciation and respect reciprocated from top players like Bobby Wagner. Anytime they come out, I think it's amazing. I think, uh, you know, what they do is really, really special. Uh, you know, I think a lot of times people look at us and, and think what we do is special, but the things that they do, the things that they put themselves, their families, um, it's, it's really special. So, you know, you try to make it a big deal when they come out and they support and, and um, just show the love and appreciation that we have for what they do for, for us. Okay, so when I was talking with some of the military members, they were saying, hey, one of the hardest drills was the three cone shuttle. And so it, Adam, it had a lot to do with speed, high knees, things like that. But I mean, it was really fascinating to see them at work. They are such athletes by nature. And also, you know, I was thinking, hey, maybe the commanders can sign some of them next year. Some of them had some real cannons on them, just tossing the ball all the way across the bubble fun to see. Really cool to be out here for my first training camp experience with the commanders. And by the way, Chick Hernandez is going to continue to carry you through our commanders coverage this evening. And he's talking to the players about what military appreciation really means to them. So he'll have that perspective. But Adam, I'm thinking one of these days you and I should try those drills because they look tough. We could do it if it's in an indoor we air conditioned situation. Because I don't think we want to be out there doing like it in thinking. these kind of conditions at this time of day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There you go. Team 4 p.m. Right. will be commanders sprinting here soon. Thanks, Yeah, man. and just FYI, you and I are going to be switch places, switching places tomorrow. So you'll be back here. I'll be out there at Commander's Park. So um, there'll be a little bit of... Uh, a I'm going to leave you my bug spray. Give and take. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, leave you my bug spray, my sunscreen, me. my little sweat towel. We'll talk more offline friend. about what we've got to do to get ready because <laughs> it's a lot, I'm sure. All right, Simone. So listen, in just